ranolazine is used as last resort to treat angina when all other medications fail. It is not very effective, but it can treat angina in some patients. The medication inhibits the inward sodium currents. These are small channels that force sodium into the cell. And so, when this is blocked, the cell will have low intracellular sodium. And to compensate, it upregulates the sodium-calcium exchanger. And this results in calcium leaving the cell and more sodium going into the cell. This reduces the diastolic wall tension and decreases the heart oxygen demand, which is why we can use it in cases of angina. Keep in mind, clinically, the medication does not affect the heart rate or the contractility of the heart, but it does decrease the oxygen demand. The medication also blocks the potassium channels, and this results in dose-related QT prolongation. It can also cause headache, dizziness, and constipation. But if you ever get a question in the exam about this medication, it will most likely be about the QT prolongation or the mechanism of action. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.